Sound right. Yeah, where did it go? There's only one way to find out. Come on. <gasps> wow! Would you look at that? Oh. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> This place isn't very big at all. <laughs> Me like. It's our special little hidden place. I've never seen this kind of tree. Hmm, <laughs> it smells good. <laughs> Ew! You leaf eaters sure have a strange sense of smell. I think the tree sweets smell yummy. I think they do, too. I do, I do! Your sniffers must be broken. It smells so bad it makes my head hurt. Ugh, I'm gonna go. <gasps> Wait for me, Chomper. I can't keep an eye on you if I can't see you. We'll meet up with you after we're through exploring. Hmm. <laughs> hey, look! Spike thinks the tree sweets taste as good as it smells. This is good. <laughs> I think I'll have another. Then another! And 
another. Good times, good friends, take a look at what we found. Good times, good friends, lots of tree sweets all around. <laughs> about the tasty tree sweets. But if we tell, everyone will want some. Sarah, you know it's not right to keep food a secret, but there aren't enough tree sweets here for everyone, so what's the use in telling them? Hmm, I guess you have a point. Of course I do. No need to make a big deal about a few hidden tree sweet trees. Too much. <laughs> Ducky, Spike, I was getting worried. Where have you been? We were playing toss the seed. Then you must be very hungry. I gathered these especially for you. <laughs> oh, my favorite. times we come back, the better these tree sweets taste. I'm glad you ate so much. It doesn't smell so bad anymore. <sighs> Ugh, still doesn't smell good, though. Then we'll just have to keep eating. Right, Spike? <laughs> <laughs> Ducky, Spike, are you two feeling all right? You haven't been eating much lately. We have not been hungry. You and Spike, not hungry? Uh, yes. All of the stop the seat playing makes us less hungry. Mama, there's something Spike and I should... Oh, no! It can't be! Not here! The no. 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 are here! Fast fighters in the Great Valley? and the young ones to safety. The rest of you, fall in behind me and Grandpa Longneck. 
Time to show some fast biters that they're not welcome here. <sighs> hey, you! Fast biters! You all know what to do. Hungry and sorry tonight. Those sneaky fast biters got clean away. Oh, we've searched everywhere. They must have found a way into the valley we don't know about. It's been a long time since any sharp teeth got into the Great Valley. This is a very dangerous development. We've seen those fast biters with Red Claw. <laughs> and Red Claw is the biggest and meanest sharp tooth of them all. So if they're here, he's not far behind. <laughs> then we need to find out how the fast biters are getting in and out. Until we know, we'll have to keep an eye out day and night. <laughs> Spike, do you want this? Hmm? I I'm not hungry. <laughs> what, Spike? What, what, what? <laughs> it's another passageway. But where does this one lead? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's a second way out of our hidden place, and it goes to the mysterious beyond. Uh-oh. And that's not all. Fast Biter Prince. If the Fast Biter's gotten here, then they could find their way into the Great Valley. That's how they got in last night. Oh, we leave now. Me scared. What we do now? We know how the fast spiders got into the valley. We have to warn everyone. But what if they get mad at us? I guess that's a risk we'll just have to take. <sighs> we made a big mistake. It is more than an oops. We've got to go, tell everyone what we found here. Even though they will be mad at us. How were we to know? Sharp teeth could get in. It's too late now. We don't have time to argue. We must let the others know what we know. If only we not keep the trees we thought. Say you made a mistake. No one is supposed to eat the tree sweets in the hidden canyon. You say you saw footprints. Yeah, fast spider footprints. Children, how much of the tree sweets did you eat? Uh, a lot. What's that got to do with anything? Those tree sweets have a smell that sharp teeth don't like. In fact, it makes them sick. I believe that. But if there aren't many tree sweets left, the smell won't stop Sharp Teeth from coming into the Great Valley. What? Oh, no! 
Grandma, you warn the others. Mr. Threehorn and I will check on the hidden canyon. At least now we know how the sharp teeth got in. Well, there are still some tree sweets up here. Well, you can hardly smell them. No wonder it didn't keep the sharp teeth away. <sighs> we'll just have to find another way to keep the sharp teeth out. That screechy screech! The fast fighters are back! There's no time to get away. <laughs> Littlefoot, you and your friends go back and get help. Mr. Threehorn and I will make sure you get away. Yes, we can stop the sharp teeth, at least for a while. Now go. Stand the tree sweets. He's running away! 
passage have to be blocked off, Grandma? Yes, Littlefoot. We have to make sure there's no way for Sharp Teeth to get into the valley. We can never, ever go back to our special hidden place. No, no, no. Now that the hidden canyon has been closed off, the Great Valley is once again safe from sharp teeth. My friends and I want to apologize for putting everyone in danger. We didn't tell everyone about the tree sweets we found. We so, so sorry. Well, you should be sorry. I'm getting too old to tangle with sharp teeth. But, Daddy, you are so brave the way you fought Red Claw. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, it was nothing, really. <laughs> there I was, face to face with Red Claw. Oh. Now, the trick to fighting sharp teeth is not to let them think you're afraid. So I marched right up to that big bully and I looked him right in the eye. 